Hi, welcome to this quick teardown. Today, this DALI dimming device. It is used to be inside the wall. You have a turning wheel to set the brightness and also you can push it to turn the lights on or off. And it has an integrated power supply for the DALI bus, as you can see here. It has a live wire input and the DALI plus and minus output. And yeah, it's from the company called Berka and it is the ordering number 2898. And on this one is the push button broken. Maybe we can see it in the teardown. Let's see. So the DALI bus is a bus used to control lights in bigger areas. This one can control up to 46 lights. Uh, no, maximum is 26. Yeah, and it is a serial bus, and it is widely used in today's standards. Or oh, I can speak for Germany for sure. Yeah, to disassemble, I first. Uh, remove these holding um, holding things and then here are some clips around the package which I will just pull away so it can be opened. It should be right easy. That is going quite good and it should be easier as further we get with this. And then we can re remove the back plate and here we have already a capacitor and one over voltage um, NTC if I remember correctly some yeah, um, foam and the main PCB. Uh, we have here two uh, full bridge rectifiers, one optocoupler and I think this is a transistor for the yeah, DALI output and hopefully we can push the PCB to the back to remove it also. Yes, that works. Okay, there is more inside than I have thought. Uh, we have here some switching power supply. This is a standard yeah, power supply IC. And one microcontroller is here, which we may can read on the camera. Yeah, it's a microchip controller. Uh, it's hard to read. Only the wrong number is showing. Now we can see it a little bit more. Yeah, looks like a PIC 16E648A. So just a normal microcontroller. And what else have we here? Yeah, that looks like it's a BSP43 here, the, the other transistor. And yeah, I will also look inside of the rotary encoder and also on the yeah, push button to see what doesn't work there. So what's the problem? And for this, I will just get it off the PCB so we can take a look inside. Like this. And now I will open the metal case. Very well closed. Not as 
easy as usual. Okay, the, the reason is because these clamps are also bent onto the downside and uh, have a kind of a hook after the plastic. So that's a quite good design, I think. So it will never go away by mistake or by the wrong force. But we can get it open anyway. So here is the push button membrane, which is also fixed via some melting technique. That's quite nice. But I want to look under it to see how dirty it is, to see if there's any corrosion and if it's the reason for the not working. But as far as I can tell, there's no, no real damage. I mean, it looks a little bit used, but not too much. So it's hard to tell if it is broken or not. We can also take a look inside of the rotary encoder. We can already see a little bit of the mechanic behind it. There is an, an, this round plate with some yeah, metal stripes and there are these contacts and if the contacts close or open in a defined manner the yeah, microcontroller here will know in which direction and how fast you turn the rotary encoder or the knob we have here in the end okay i think that's it for this yeah small dali dimming device and i will just throw it away i must say because i cannot do anything useful with it and otherwise my pile of old pcb would get bigger and bigger and yeah i hope you like it anyway goodbye